New this morning, this weekend, people in Western Maryland are saying hooray for Frederick Wood because it's time for the 17th annual 72 hour film fest. Here to tell us about the 72 hour film fest, but more importantly, what Frederick Wood is, because I thought it was a typo in the teleprompter uh -huh. for a second. Mr. Jimmy Alexander, my friend, how are you? Well, I'm doing well, and you know, Frederick is very glitzy this time of the year because mm -hmm. it is the 17th annual uh, 72 hour film fest. And as Clark Klein, um, who is the co founder, uh, 17 years ago, they came up with a film fest that you write, film, and edit a movie within only 72, 72 hours. hours. And it's that, a time crunch. That's that, the definition of a time crunch. Right there. Absolutely. And you know, you have professionals involved, you have amateurs uh, entering, and students. And we talked to a lot of students from Frederick who do know, unlike you, Joseph, that it is hooray for Frederick Wood. <laughs> So 72 is they have 72 hours to, uh, from the point we give them their criteria until when they have to turn in their movies. So they only have a weekend to make a movie. But you're in the student uh, category. Tell me about your film. Um, it is about two homeless guys. In a search for adventure. You had 72 hours to make the film. What was the most challenging part? Uh, time management. It was a lot more than one to fit and just things like that. But because of time constraints, because of the constraints that they put in the rules, we just... We had to cut a bunch of stuff, we had to really shrink it down. What is the hardest part about making a movie in 72 hours? I would say the hardest for me, and I'd say for most of us, is just getting rid of that like perfectionist idea. It just gets to the point where you just have to be like, well, it works, it's good enough, we have to move on because we don't have the time to sit there and be nitpicky about every little detail. Cut. It's, it's a lot of having to recognize that people will have different creative visions and different approaches to certain tasks, and so having to work around that and with that was probably the most challenging specifically for this year. You have to be able to compromise and find not only the best thing for yourself, but the best thing for both groups and meet in the middle. And why do you think Frederick has been a great home for you guys? Um, I mean, I, I grew up here, and I've seen it kind of grow in, in the arts community and stuff, and I think there's a lot of folks here that love to support the local arts, and uh, yeah, they keep it alive. I decided that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life because of the 72 Film Fest. I was, I was going to go to school for something completely different, and I ended up going to school for film. Now, a lot of parents, if their child came to them and said, I am going to change my college plans, I want to be an actress, an actor. Exactly. They go, what? No. And what did you say? That was exactly what I said. But at the end of the day, it's not my dream. It's not what I want for her. It's whatever she wants for herself. You guys deserve all of the kudos for what you have done. I have been there. I know what it's like. You got this, man. You got it. That was really cool. 72 hours to film, cut, and edit. Absolutely. An entire film. And plus, some are acting. There's teams. I believe there are 42 different films that entered this year. And tonight, they'll find out the winners in Frederick. So you have to start off in Frederick Wood to get to Hollywood. Yes, but to me, uh, rent is much better in Frederick Wood. Fred, rent <laughs> rent and a lot of things much are much better. better in Frederick Wood versus Hollywood. All right, Jim Alexander, thank you so much, my friend. As always, we love having you in the studio with us. And still to come this morning on DC News Now, we are talking a lot of things, including fun for the whole family. Get inside an inside look at the lives of the Flip Circus performers as they prep for their last weekend here in the DMV. We'll be right back.